See any hint of that octopus swimming around here? No, but I can smell him. Gladys, I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. Hmm, this door's locked. Children's books. locked. It's empty. Meche. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock. And I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. <laughs> I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, Gaudon. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. This is sad. Hola, Angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchett. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> You're two bad little children. 
I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> you know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. Okay, back to work. So mean. This is the tiniest little hammer I've ever seen. I like my old desk better. My Prince Charming, are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. <laughs> okay, you can take out the tiny hammer if you want. No, I don't think I could take his laughter a second time. Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? I like the new dress. Well, it's the best I could pull together out here. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get decent fabric and silk stockings on a deserted factory island on the edge of the world? Hmm. No. No, I don't. Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? It's empty. Our type of business doesn't produce a lot of paperwork. I like my old desk better. Not moving any furniture today. Hola, Angelitos. Hello, Mr. Mean Boss Guy. Hey, would one of you children happen to have a gun? Yeah, we do. So stick him up. Let me see it. He doesn't have one. He's such a liar. Oh, yeah? Well, you're stupid. Your light bulbs don't work. Your light bulbs also... Hey. No fighting, no biting. He started, he started it. it. Did not. Did not. Did two. Did two. Don't make me come in there. Okay, back to work. Man, 
that ashtray so fancy you could eat caviar out of it. Once you got used to the sooty aftertaste, you'd feel like a king. I only steal ashtrays from bars. One nice thing on this cruel island. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. Soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. Well, you don't want that big octopus to see you chatting. Oh, brother, that's right. Torpedo! Huh? Who? What? Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get a bust all? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the big reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins. You people and your fancy boats never know about it. Cause you just never stop and look. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be needing? Done. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? I think it's some form of blue-green algae. Ah, oh, don't worry, you get used to it. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Chapito! Huh? Who? What? Well, I got a long day. Please, bust away. <laughs> Yo, Beto! Have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. Do do do. Da dee da da. Check out the hosiery. Say, these are 
real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. Lay down your tools. We're busting out of here. Da, Man, da, if I'd only gotten that book back from Terry, I could really start some trouble here. Don't Mississippi. la di da di da da Oh, Virginia. I don't know how I'd get down there without this current taking me over the edge. Uh-oh. when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here. I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh, yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good, too. I think this baby... Oh, yeah, I was just... Here to be crushed. Either that or these are the biggest, meanest looking hair cutters I've ever seen. It's the edge of the world, but not the edge I'm looking for.
This scoop looks heavier than my last ship. See why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. I don't want to bust all that.